If you are considering applying to Imperial College London to study life sciences, or you are an Imperial student wondering which options to take in your future years, it's worth knowing about the training on offer through the College Stream. And who knows better than our lecturers about what Imperial can offer? So we collated some answers from our lecturers about the College Stream at Imperial. So humans are not an island, we're not one species that operates in splendid isolation. We depend on the natural world for our own survival and understanding that interaction with the natural world and our dependence on it is really critical for human civilization as a whole and the benefit of our own species. Ecosystems give us food and they give us water and while sometimes there are ways that with emerging technologies we can replace aspects of an ecosystem, we never do as good of a job, we never do it cheaper, we never do it more efficiently than by nurturing and rebuilding, restoring those ecosystems that gave us those things in the first place. Collect, study and analyse data gathered from the natural world to find patterns uh, in the massive complexity of uh, biodiversity and its interactions with the world around us. Imperial College itself is one of the leading UK universities, and not only nationally, but internationally. Particularly at Silwood, we have a hub and a particularly high density of world-leading ecologists and evolutionary biologists. So you're going to be learning not only about some of the fundamental principles of ecology, but you're also going to be learning about the new cutting-edge aspects of ecology and where we're taking ecology into, into the new era. At Silwood Park, um, we have a molecular facility. We have CAT2 labs, which means that we can isolate microbes, uh, viruses, fungi, bacteria um, from environmental samples and study them. We have recently set up a viral ecology stream, which will allow us to look at viral communities in the wild and sequence them and culture them in the lab. We have Mesocosm facility that is the largest, as far as we still know, in the world. Over 200 Mesocosms where you can study the impacts of warming and chemicals on freshwater communities. We have controlled environment rooms where you can do experiments looking at the impact of temperature and things like that on individual organisms or communities. So there's really a vast array of really impressive facilities that you will get to experience in your ecology degree. I've certainly come across a widespread misconception among undergraduates that ecological training and ecological teaching will take you through to a relatively narrow set of careers, be it environmental consultancy, uh, environmental NGOs and other uh, vocational careers. And while that's true that ecology teaching will get you through into those careers for anybody who's interested in them, I think the outlook is now much broader, particularly with ecological issues rising up the political agenda and the business agenda to the degree that they're doing over recent years. Corporations need environmental and ecological expertise, as do governments, international agencies. So the influence and appeal of ecologists across a broad spectrum of economic and corporate and commercial enterprises is now much, much broader than it was. So that's one reason to study ecology. More generally, ecological background um, gives you a very holistic view of the world and how it works. And a lot of the people who come through Imperial studying ecology end up going into finance or medicine or a variety of things, but they really uh, cherish what they learned in ecology at Imperial as something that really set them on their way in terms of thinking uh, in a more general or universal or holistic way. Ecology teaching at Imperial covers a huge range of topics in ecology, evolutionary biology, and ecosystem science, including lots of hands-on training and field courses. And hopefully we'll see some of you in the ecology stream.